Welcome back to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 1. For more free lessons on Microsoft Access, make sure to subscribe to my channel and visit my website at accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube. In Lesson 10, we're going to build a customer form so we can present our user with a nice friendly interface for editing records. So far today, we've seen how to build a table and how to design a couple of different queries. Now tables and queries are functional and they're necessary for most databases but they're not very user friendly to work with especially if you don't know access. So in this lesson we're going to see how to set up a couple of different types of forms. Now forms are used to work with data on the screen. Forms look a lot better than working with tables and queries directly. That makes it easier for you to find information which of course makes you more efficient with your database. Forms provide you with additional control and security for your data. You can control exactly what people can look at, which fields they can see, which ones they can edit. Are they allowed to delete records or add new records? All of these things can be controlled using forms. If you currently have paper forms or perhaps even an Excel spreadsheet that you're working with, you can design a form to mimic those existing paper forms or Excel spreadsheets. This makes it easier for your users to transition into your database. You can display data from multiple tables together on one form. For example, you can show the contact history for each customer on the customer form, or you can show a summary of the recent orders. We're not going to learn how to do that today, but just keep in mind that we can do it. We'll cover that when we get to our expert classes and start talking about relational tables. Forms can display summary information. If you have a form that shows a list of orders, you can put totals in the footer of the form. So at the bottom of the column, you can see the total for all of the orders. In today's class, I'm going to show you how to set up a couple of different simple forms using some of the automatic form techniques. We'll show you how to make some basic modifications to those forms as well. In the next level, we'll spend a lot more time designing custom forms from scratch. Keep in mind that building forms is really more of an art than a science. You can easily spend many, many hours making your forms look good. I know that I have in the past. Changing around the controls, where they go, changing the colors. It just takes practice. This is something that the more that you do it, the better you'll be at it. So here is how you create a simple form. First, click on the table or query that you wish to base your form on. Generally, you're going to base your forms directly from your tables. However, if you wish to show a custom set of records, you can build a form directly from a query. We'll show you how to do that in a future lesson. For now, we're going to click on Customer Table, click on Create, and then over here you'll see the Forms group. There are several different ways to build a form and access. The simplest is just to click on the Form button. Access will go ahead and just build the form for you. It won't give you any options. It'll just say, here you go, there's your form. I'll show you how that works in just a minute. Next we have Form Design which is you building the form from scratch. Now form design is actually my preferred method for building forms. However, it's a little more advanced and we're going to cover that in the next class. Form design lets you really get in there and make changes to every aspect of the form, but you have to know how to build them from the ground up. So again, we'll cover that in the next class. Blank form will build the form for you and then lets you add the controls where you want them. Again, we'll see this in a future lesson. The form wizard will help you to build a form by asking you some simple questions. You can then customize the form once it's built. I personally don't like the form wizard and we'll cover it in a future lesson. Navigation forms allow you to set up a simple menu interface with buttons where you can click on them to go between the different parts of your database. And then under More Forms, there are some different optional types of forms. We'll see a couple of these today, like Multiple Items, Data Sheet, and Split Form. We'll talk about the others in future classes. So as you can see, there are a lot of different options available for forms. But for now, 
let's just click on the simple form here. When you click on it, a second goes by, and then Access throws together the form for you. On the form, you'll see a header across the top here that says Customer T. Then you'll see each one of the fields from your table down below here. There's first name, last name, and so on. This is called a single form because each screenful shows one record, a single record at a time. You can see each field consists of a label and a text box. The label is right here on the left. It indicates which field this is. On the right side, you'll see the text box. This is where the actual data goes. Now when Access first builds the form for you, it puts you inside of layout mode. What that means is you can come in here and change the layout of the form to look like whatever you want. You'll see up top here it says form layout tools. We can change the design, the arrangement, and the format of the form. If you click on the design tab, way over here on the left you'll see views just like we had with tables and queries. If you drop this down, you'll see there's form view, layout view, and design view. Right now, we're in layout view. You can see that layout view has a little orange border around it. This means we can edit the layout of the form. Once we're happy with the layout, we can switch to form view, and that's where we can actually edit our data. That is what your end users will be working with all the time, form view. You don't want to let them mess with your layout or your design. Now design view we'll talk about in the next class. Design view lets you get in there and make changes to the properties of the objects, move things around a little bit more, and basically make more changes than you can with just editing the layout. We'll talk about that again in the next class. Now the first thing that you might want to do in layout mode here is to resize some of the objects on your form. For example, you can see that first name and last name have pretty big text boxes. I don't need them to be that large. So let's make them shorter. I'll move my mouse over the border there. Notice how it changes into a double pointing arrow. At this point, just click and drag, and you'll notice that the entire row gets resized. Notice that first name and phone number over here on the right also got resized. When you're in layout mode, access tends to work in columns and rows. So if you want to resize the column, for example, just move right here on the right border of one of the text boxes in that column, click and drag, and notice how the entire column is changed. You can also do that with the labels themselves. Click over here on first name and you can change the width of that column. So take a few minutes now and just practice resizing these text boxes to be the height and width that you want. And there we go. I'm now happy with the way my form looks and I'm ready to save it. I'm going to come up to the top here and click on the Save button or hit Control S. The Save As dialog box appears. I'm going to change this to Customer F, F for Form. Remember, T for Table, Q for Query, F for Form, R for Report. And then I'll hit OK. Notice my Customer F is now saved over here in a Forms section of the Navigation pane. It also says Customer F up here on the tab this still says customer T. This right here is just a title for the form. You can keep this, you can change it, or you can get rid of it completely, whatever you'd like to do. Personally, I never use these. So I'm going to click on it and press delete on my keyboard. That will get rid of it. You can also change or delete this little logo right here. I'm going to get rid of it. That'll save me some space on the screen. I almost never use those little titles and logos up top on the form. If you want to edit or change them or make new ones, you'll find them on the design tab right over here where it says logo, title, and you can also add the date and time. Again, we'll talk about these in more detail in the next class. 
now that my form is finished, I'm going to come over here and click on the close button. Access asks me if I want to save the changes to the design of the form because I deleted that title and logo. I'll say yes. The form is closed. And now I can open it back up by double clicking on the customer form over here. Now I'm in form view. Form view is where your users will work all the time. This is where you can come in and make changes to the data in the form. Remember, this data is not actually saved in the form. It's really saved in the table. The form is just displaying it for you in a different way. So any changes you make here are reflected in the data in your table. Let's say, for example, this customer changes his phone number. I can come right in here and type in the new phone number. If I want to move between the records, I can come right down here and click on these navigation buttons. That'll move me to record two, three, four, backwards. This button moves you to the first record. This button moves you to the last record. And this little button right here moves you to a new blank record so you can begin entering a new customer. So I can click on the first name field and start typing in a new customer, new guy XYZ Corp. I'm using the tab key to move from field to field. Remember, the pencil over here indicates this is a dirty record. It hasn't been saved to the table yet. It will be saved as soon as I move off of this record or close the form. If you wish to delete a record, simply click anywhere on this big tall bar over here on the left side of the form. That's called the record selector. Once you click on that, you can press the delete key on your keyboard to delete this record. Access will warn you, you're about to delete one record, are you sure? If you say yes, you cannot undo that. The record will be gone for good. You will also find buttons on the ribbon to sort and filter. Work with records such as delete, save, go to a new record, and so on. There are also find and replace buttons. We'll talk about all these features in much more detail in the next class. For now, let's just close this form by clicking over here. I want to quickly show you how to create two additional types of forms that are extremely handy. So click on Customer T, then click on Create, come over here to More Forms, and then you'll see Multiple Items. Click on Multiple Items. Again, Access throws together a quick form for you, but notice how on the screen you can see multiple records. I'm in layout mode, so I'm going to resize this because it made the rows very tall. But notice here, you can see all the different customers on one form. This is called a continuous form. We'll spend a lot more time with this type of form in future classes, but I know a lot of people always ask me how to create these, so I wanted to show you where it is real quick. I'm just going to close this without saving it. When Access says, do you want to save it, I'll just say no. Another very handy type of form, click on Create, More Forms. There's this one here called a Split Form. The Split Form is a combination of a standard single form up top and a data sheet view on the bottom. And as you click between the different records on the bottom, you can see that it moves the current record on the top. And again, this is very handy. You can scroll down through your list of customers, click on the one that you want to see, and that customer's information is loaded in the top half of the form. Again, that's called a split form. These are just a couple examples of the many different types of forms that you can build and access. And again, over the next couple of classes, I will show you how to create lots and lots of different types of forms. For now, again, I'm just going to close this form, and I'll say no to save changes. So that, in a nutshell, is how you can build a simple customer form. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right now. And also, don't forget to visit my website at accesslearningzone.com YouTube for more advanced lessons and other specials just for YouTube viewers.